All right, we got to see some Jaden Daniels in the NFL. Very exciting. One of the things I was most looking forward to about today, and he lived up to the hype in a small sample size. Only got one series, but man, did he look good in this series. So yeah, let's just get into it. Before I do, though, just got to get a quick plug in. I do have a movie channel, if that seems like your kind of thing. Jackson Kruger Movies. Check out the link in the description. If you don't want to just hear my bad takes about sports, want to hear my bad takes about movies, too, definitely check that out. But yeah, anyway, let's talk some Jaden Daniels. So we got to start off with this play. This is the one that I saw kind of getting posted on Twitter a lot really early on, and rightfully so. It was one, I mean, it's a great play. Let's just talk about it. So third down and six, you know, single safety deep. A lot of times you see these types of plays in the preseason because teams are trying to figure out what they have in their players, right? Especially the young players. You do something like this, it puts stress on the corners on the outside, and if a receiver can really come through on the outside, that's how you can get a starting job, right? Or at least get a lot more playing time if you're not supposed to be uh, in contention for getting a starting job. So for Daniels, he's going to take the snap, and he's going to look in that direction and fire in that direction. The correct decision. It's not wide open by any means, but it's still a good you know, time to take this shot because even if it's incomplete, well, you're punting anyway, you have a chance of getting a big play. If the corner makes an interception, it's third down anyway, right? Like it's just, these are, you know, in, unless it's just, it's clearly not going to be open. These are shots you should take. However, as I said, it's not super open right here. You would have liked to maybe see the receiver get a step or two more. So, okay. It's good coverage. Honestly, it's great coverage. But I mean, look at this ball. Like, oh my goodness, what a play. This isn't, sometimes people see like a big downfield pass and say like, okay, wow, what a throw by the quarterback. But then I watch it and say, well, the guy was kind of wide open. Like it's more of just a good offensive play in general. That's not the case here. I mean, don't get me wrong. A hell of a catch too by the receiver. But like, that's a perfect throw that far down the field. This is why he was drafted number two overall. It's this right here. That's a remarkable play and yeah that's going to play at the NFL level for sure but also something like this is what they are going to do at the NFL level and what will play at the NFL level this is the other kind of side of the coin is he can make those types of throws but he is not just a thrower and in today's NFL where running quarterbacks are becoming more and more valuable having a guy who can do something like this is important. And one thing worth mentioning, they really sold the run right here. After that passing play, they had like, I feel like it was like six straight rushing plays. So because of that, Jets are definitely expecting another rush right here. So they're kind of playing off of that. You fake as though you're going to be just handing the ball off to your halfback, he'll run right up the middle. That can cause that Jets player to move further in. And that's really the guy you're trying to fool on this play. The logic behind this is simple. You have this fake, and because of it, you can have a defender who you don't have to block. You're essentially gaining an extra player because, you know, you don't have to waste a player just handing the ball off to someone. Because then when Daniels runs to the outside, again, you're taking a guy out of the play, essentially. This is why quarterbacks who run the football, even on design runs, have higher yards per carry than running backs. Because It's not because they're better runners. It's because just logically it makes sense. So when Daniels does, you know, fake the handoff and get towards the outside, good job by him. Really well done. But there still is a Jets player who I would say is reading this play really well, getting over and trying to make a play. Again, you know that it is Daniels there. So even though you've established a run uh, a lot, still, it could be a quarterback run. You you understand that as a defense. But here is the other good thing about Daniels is he moves really well. Because if you look towards the right side of the screen, you see that there is a Washington and a New York player, you know, uh, locked up right here. There's the block going on. So that's something that the defender is going to have to navigate. And Daniels is going to pick his angle perfectly here. He more or less uses that as a pick, knows how to get towards the outside, and is able to eventually just jog into the end zone for a touchdown. That's really good stuff by Daniels, and this is also just the value that having someone like Daniels brings to the table. So, you know, having someone who can do this kind of thing. Wasn't all perfect, something like this, uh, kind of a quick play, but the way this is going to work is it's, you know, just trying to hit a halfback underneath, pretty simple, uh, you know, nothing too fancy right here. I don't really know what happened here. 
But watch as when Daniels takes the snap, he's going to flip it to the halfback, and that's just a wild throw. I, I really don't get what happened. Was that miscommunication, perhaps? Was that a timing thing? Uh, or maybe he was just expecting him to be further down the field. I don't know. That that was weird. So wasn't all perfect. But again, you can clean that stuff up. When you're getting the good plays that you got from him, that's really exciting. So again, super small sample size. Only so much you can do with a small sample size like this. But if you're a Washington fan, plenty to get excited about, I think. Uh, but yeah, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.